This video will demonstrate the protocol for socket grafting without flap reflection and grafting with bond appetite. Once proper debridement of the host site is complete, the bond appetite syringe is activated. The syringe contains a saline chamber, the graft powder, shaft, two pistons, indicator line, and a cap. The shaft is placed in the palm of the hand, the other finger at the top of the cap, and the shaft is advanced forward until the first piston reaches the blue line. Next, with a twisting and pulling motion, the cap is removed and the shaft is placed between the pointer and middle fingers and the syringe is held as can be seen here. Approach and eject the cement into the socket. The cement is deployed into the site until it stops and then the position is changed to use the thumb in order to expel the rest of the cement into the site. Immediately, a sterile unfolded dry gauze is placed over the cement and pressed firmly with the finger from the crestal direction for about three seconds. It is crucial that at the cervical level, the cement is well compacted. Use a periosteal elevator in order to continue with the compaction of the graft for an additional few seconds, again from the crestal direction. Once the gauze is removed, the exposed graft should be protected by Augma Shield. This protects the graft from washing out as the soft tissue proliferates above the material. Begin by preparing Augma Shield by cutting it to size. Next, Clean the soft tissue with a moist, sterile gauze and place the Augma Shield above the graft and the soft tissue. Press firmly for five seconds. Secure the Augma Shield in place with cross-stitch sutures. Start suturing from mesial to distal in the buccal aspect below the Augma Shield. Then cross above the mesial in the lingual palatal aspect through the distal. Make the knot on top of the Augma shield and then make additional cross suturing in the same manner if needed.